Hello everyone, um, in this video we'll be looking at integrating uh, the API sort of things to the application. So if you haven't watched my previous videos, please go ahead and watch the issue active directory B2C uh, previous videos. And uh, we are, uh, this is a continuing version of, uh, of that uh, series of videos. So this video, uh, let's look at the task service API sort of things. So uh, first of all, what we need to do, we need to update the tenant name and some configuration um, parameters uh, in the web.config file. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, pick our, um, our issue active directory B2C see tenant name first, um, and then replace that uh, with in that in the web config file that we just saw. So let's copy that cross and then let's go ahead and uh, update this here so let's um, save this and uh, in order for us to get a client ID we need to register for the uh, register this API as an application into B2C uh, before I do that I'll quickly update my sign up and sign in policy name and then uh, what I would do I'll publish this API into Azure um, and that way then I can get a proper URL for my API. So I'll update the policy name. And uh, then what I would do, I'll publish this API into a, into my same app service that I created. Um, so I'm gonna say publish and then um, have a name, random name in here and then uh, it's the same same resource group that i created before and uh, same um, app service plan which i created before as well uh, which is not still listed in here so it's we will give it a second so uh, we select the task web app uh, 341 as the uh, as the app service plan and then we select the resource group as uh, controller one and then we should be good so uh, let's go ahead and yeah let's go ahead and publish that and then we will get a new url uh, for the api app and then we can register that application within the b2c so let's give it a second So as you can see, now it's getting deployed. All right, the API is now successfully deployed. So let's go ahead and uh, yeah, so that's, that's the API URL. So what we will do now, let's go ahead and create a API for our B2C. So um, I'm gonna add it as another application um, for my uh, Azure Active Directory B2C. So I'm gonna call it the task service API. And it's, yes, it's a web app and the reply URL should be that. And yeah, so I'm gonna call it the tasks um, app ID URI because it's API and uh, this is how um, how we request so this is the app um, this is the API that we request uh, the, the the barrier tokens from so that's why we put it as that and then we let's go create so we get that API and then we create that API and now we get the client ID of that API so so we copy that client ID at the same time and let's go back to the application so we got the client id there uh, we got that yeah so let's go back to this because this is an api we need to publish the scopes of the api so we need to publish uh, uh, we need to publish two uh, apis basically so we need to give read um, access and also we need to give the uh, write access as well. So let's see, let's go read and write and then we'll say um, read access to the API. And then we say write, then we say write access to the API. 
So that's the public scopes of the API. And once that's done, uh, we need to update the application. So these two are the names that I gave, so I don't need to update anything in here. Uh, so that's done. Let's, uh, let's publish this um, API again, because um, we need to update the client IDs and etc. So one, while that's updating, I'm gonna go to the application um, that we publish and I'm gonna update a few things. So um, I need to update um, the API URL. So I need to update the API URL as, bill, as this. So that's the task service URL. Um, so that should be a HTTPS for your information. That's the, we need to update that as HTTPS. Uh, then we have uh, the app, UR, app ID URL. So we give app ID URL as, uh, as tasks. So that is our app URL, app ID URL. So let's copy that and then, so let's paste it in here. So that's the that's the URL to request the barrier tokens and this is read and write so that's done so that's the application uh, application URLs modified so let's publish this web application as well so let's wait till that publish and then our our it's actually published already so let's go ahead and refresh this application so um, so I'm going to go refresh, uh, not the error message basically. So, so I'm going to refresh the application. So I'm going to go sign out, sign back in with my account that I created. So type my email and my password. So once I logged in successfully, let's try to access the URL, uh, so the API now. Still getting unauthorized. Still getting unauthorized. So let's have a look at why. So first thing, we uh, we didn't provide the um, API access for the application. So let's go back, let's go to the task app and then look at API access. So we haven't done, they haven't done uh, this part. So in here, you have to add and give the API access of, to this application. So I'm going to say, this is, yes, this is my API. And I have, yeah, I have these scopes. And I want to give this application access to that API. So that could be the reason. Let's go ahead and try again. So let's go to, the, let's go to home and then try accessing again to the web service. So now you can see we can talk to the API and then I get the to-do list as well. So I can have um, I can have items added to the list now as well. So I can have oranges, blah, blah, and then mangoes. So I can add as many as into the list as well. So this talks to the API and adds um, in my uh, to-do list. And uh, if I sign out, um, I sh and sign in again, I should have my own list uh, returned back to me. So let's go again. And um, yeah, let's log in, log in and then let's go to the uh, to-do list. Yeah, that's it. So it talks to the API now correctly and then it passes my credentials. And if I look at my claims, I have all my identity information listed in here talks to the API and it gives me a unique list of to do. And then, uh, and then I, I, I can just work as with, uh, with the proper application. So, uh, which is pretty good. So all my identity management is now offloaded, uh, into Azure Active Directory B2C and I, same way I can get social identities added as well, uh, which is, um, which is, which makes things a lot easier. So thanks for watching. So that's, that's in a nutshell that I wanted to show you. And uh, that is basically um, Azure Active Directory B2C. And it, uh, yeah, so it gives you developers a lot more power and uh, you can focus more on the application rather than uh, focusing on uh, identity management when you write an application. So thanks for watching guys and hope you enjoyed my series of videos and uh, please press subscribe. 
and uh, or with a like just support my videos thank you very much